Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel once again. In this video, I am going to discuss a very important SQL scenario based interview question that is popularly known as user purchase platform problem. So we'll start with problem statement. The spending table mentioned over here keeps the logs of this spending's history of users that make purchases from an online shopping website which has a desktop and a mobile application. It says that there is an online shopping website. You can consider it to be a Flipkart or Amazon, which has a desktop and a mobile application for making purchase. So this table, the spending table keeps tracks of user ID and the spend date and which platform they have used, whether they have used mobile or a desktop platform to make purchase and the total amount they have, uh, they have spent. Now what is telling, write an SQL query to find the total number of users and the total amount spent using mobile only, desktop only and both mobile and desktop together for each date. So it, what it is expecting, it is expecting that we should write a SQL query to find total number of users and the total amount spent using mobile only platform desktop only platform and both mobile and desktop platform so if you if, let's consider uh, 1st july 2019 as spend date if you see there are total four entries for 1st july 2019 row number 1 2 3 and 5 so if you see the user id 1 it is uh, in the row number one and two it has made uh, he has made purchase from both the application that is mobile and desktop so that's why this record is present in the output with the platform as both and total amount is 200 and total user is one for this which date first July to uh, 2019 similarly if you see the user id 2 for the same spend date, it has, uh, it ha uh, he has made purchase through mobile platform and the amount is 100. And similarly, uh, and similarly for uh, the same spend date, 1st July, user ID 3 has uh, made a purchase of 100 amount using desktop. So you can see both uh, platform mobile and desktop is available over here. Similarly, for 2nd July 2019, if you see in the spending table, we have only two entry that is four and six row. So one has made, one user has made through uh, only mobile platform. That's why you can see uh, over here mobile as a platform and total amount is 100 and total user is one. If you see the row number six, there is another user called uh, user ID three. He has made purchase through platform desktop only and total amount is 100 so you can see over here uh, for 2nd July 2019 platform is desktop and total amount spent is 100 and total user is 1 so uh, so there is no record uh, for uh, any user which has used both the platform mobile and desktop for date to the 2nd July 2019 that's why the platform um, both has a total amount as zero and total user as zero so this is what is expected in the output table let's see how we can do this in SQL server I am going to solve this problem by using common table expression but before proceeding to the solution, let's see our input table once again. So I'm going to fire select a star from input table that is spending. So this is our input table which contains user ID, spend date, platform and the amount columns. Now from this input table, we have to drive another table which should contain DE, spend date, platform, total amount and total number of users. The key point to note over here is that we have to derive three distinct rows for each spend date so one row will be for mobile the second row will be for desktop and third row will be for
for both which uses both application that is mobile and desktop so let's see how i will be doing using cte so let me start with with keyword with cte underscore a as and i'm going to open the bracket and i'm going to close it and inside this first i'm going to write the logic for logic for only desktop or only mobile so i'm going to write logic for this so for that i'm going to select start from table and after that i'm going to replace start star with column name so what are the columns we need we need a spend date spend underscore date we need user id user id and uh, i want to know the count of number of platforms used by user id so i will give count of distinct platform and after that i am going to group by these two column that is spend date and user id and let me run this sub query now you can see that for uh, for uh, user id 1 he, he uh, that user id 1 has used both the platforms rest all other user id has used only one platform that's why the count is one so what i need to do now we have to separate these two things so i have to get rid of this so how we can get rid of this we can get rid of this by using having clause because i have done group by clause we cannot use fit uh, use where clause we have to use having clause so having having count of distinct platform having count of distinct platform should be equal to 1 so if i run this now now you can see we have uh, the only we are we have the uh, rows uh, which has uh, used only one platform either desktop or the mobile now what I'm going to do, we don't need this count of distinct platform, so I'm going to replace this with count of, count, uh, sorry, sum of amount, amount as amount. So if I run this, You will be able to find total sum associated with user each user id right now what we have to add in this output table we have to add platform as well so if i use platform here it will throw error because this this column we have not used in the group by clause so but we cannot use this in the group by clause so how to how to get this done so what we can do we can use either min function or max function over here because that is the aggregate function so if you use any aggregate function in the select clause that column need not to be present in the group by so since we have only one uh, platform is present we can use either min or max i will use min so if i'll use this and if i run Now you can see we have the uh, platform populated as well. So we'll give alias as platform. Now we have logics ready for uh, for uh, for the user who has purchased only desktop or only mobile. Now I have to write logic for the user ID who has purchased both. So we can give as both now i will be doing a union all 
and then I am I will be just copying this part and I will be pasting over here and simply I am going to change 1 equal to 2 and I am going to change the platform to both so here I am going to make change as both now if I run this subquery you, you will get the rows for the user who you use both the platform for making purchases now if I if I run both this logic together let's see what output we are getting now you see that for uh, spend date equal to 1st July 2019 we have three distinct rows one for mobile second for desktop and last for both but in case of 2nd July we have only two rows that is one for mobile and the second for desktop we do not have the both platform as there were no user on that particular day who used both the application but the output table says that even if there is no user you have to display both platform and the corresponding amount should be zero so how we can do that we can do that by using a, a simple trick over here so let, let me write over here union all and then I'm going to write select distinct distinct of spend date and we'll use null as user ID and both has platform and zero as amount from spending table so let me run this now you should see that for each spend date now we have both as platform and the amount is zero now let me run all the three logics together now you see that for 2nd July also we have both as platform and the amount is zero and we have got one extra row for 1st July uh, uh, that that is amount to zero so how to get rid of this we can get rid of this by using um, group by outside the city let me show you I, I will be doing group by on the spend date and platform so let me select what are columns we need we need a spend date we need a uh, we, do we need user id in the output no we don't need user id we need platform we need amount but we have to do sum of amount sorry sum of amount as total amount and we need total user also so count of distinct distinct user id as total the store user id from this cta table and then i will be doing a group by these two columns spend date and platform and we'll do order by these two columns in the descending order now let me run this here you go you have got the desired result now you can see for each spend date we have three distinct rows and we have the total amount and we have total user id similarly for 2nd july also we have the all the three platforms we have the addition this this was the row which was creating problem now we have got this row uh, where platform equal to both as populated and total amount is zero and total user id is zero so that's all for this video if you have liked please don't forget to give thumbs up and please do provide your feedback about this problem. Thank you and thanks for watching.